Hello and welcome to Jefferson Close Up. I'm Carol Celine, and my guest today is Dr. Richard Rothman. Welcome, Dr. Rothman. So nice to have you here. You are one of the foremost hip replacement surgeons in the entire country. You've been doing this for 40 years and you've done, I believe, 25,000 surgeries. That's a lot of hip replacements. How do you keep yourself from getting bored? Well, it's interesting because it is very repetitive and the yeah. better you are, the more repetitive it <laughs> becomes because you, it's like playing a good piece of music over and over. You get very good at it. You don't change the score, the notes. So it's really the people in, around the hip that are interesting. And of course, to me, people are endlessly uh, fascinating and unique and interesting. Yeah. Now, I know that you have been, for most of your life, a runner. Right. Am I correct? Right. So what got you interested in running? Do you love it? Not particularly. <laughs> I, uh, when I uh, turned 40, which was uh, 34 years ago, I decided I wanted to stop the clock. And for me, uh, vigorous exercise is really the fountain of youth, uh, mentally, physically. Um, of all the people you've met, whom do you most admire? Well, there are three people that really were my mentors. My father died when I was 16, so I was sort of half an orphan. And so I had three male role models. One was Philip Caldwell, who was a famous businessman who was the first non-Ford chairman of the Ford Motor Company. Oh. And I operated on Mr. Caldwell and then <laughs> developed a close personal relationship. Uh, my second was a famous philanthropist, Ambassador Walter Annenberg, who was both hips I operated on and who endowed our first institute in Philadelphia. And he taught me to focus on quality, disregard economics, fo focus always on quality. Mm. And he had a deep belief in that. And finally, I had a surgical mentor, Anthony De Palma, who mm -hmm. was my predecessor as mm -hmm. chairman of orthopedics. For you, what has been the most significant change since you started doing this operation? I think it's the speed of recovery. Uh, today, if we operate on a aggressive, healthy person, mm -hmm. let's say a surgeon, they may be back at work in two to three weeks after replacing their hip, which to me is a Jeez. breathtaking. Last week I had a patient go to the theater three days after their hip replacement. So what age people have you operated on? Oh, occasionally people in their 20s, most people mm. in their 70s, mm. a lot in their 60s, some in their 50s, and then a few who are 40 and 30, and a very few in their 20s. Well, I think a lot of your patients are very lucky people. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Rothman. Thank you.